What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into car. Corey insinuates karma is in trouble and need his help. Let's get it. He met up with a bishop and prophet that shared some troubling news on Carmen. Now, if you guys pay close attention to what's being said here, and you can see Corey flashing things in the camera of that Instagram live. Now, towards the end, he started speaking on Maddie. Now, people have noticed that Maddie has deleted all of her social media accounts. They feel like Corey and Maddie are no longer together. Corey was on Twitter stating, my life is literally a damn movie and stay true to myself he also tweets I really just can't believe this girl now towards the end of the video that he posted with the bishop he started to speak on maddie which he stated he wasn't gonna post that now that he was gonna save that for the youtube video so obviously something is going on maddie is not around appears that they are no longer together all right cool Deep. Bro, just say what it is. I'm not gonna just say what it is because I'm gonna tell y'all some shit. A lot of y'all ain't gonna understand this. Y'all might be like, what the fuck is going on with Some of y'all souls don't even know how to take this information in because y'all not there yet. But a lot of y'all go understand exactly what this what this man is saying. Without me saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? I came there, just sat the fuck down and I listened and I was like, fuck. So, yeah, real shit. Going back to it. Approach and then put your whole destiny on hold. You better than that. I need somebody to show me how to do this. You better than that. That anybody that comes from me, the only thing you gonna do is make me go hard. The only thing you do is go. The best way to get back to somebody is to succeed. You know, every day you don't regret that you did what you did. Because you have to watch me become successful in your place. And, it's, it's, and you love them in spite of them. You got kids, and that's not the final chapter in your book. And the things that she done for you, like the prophet said, run deeper because she worked roots against you. You know, she worked roots against you. And, you know, work spells against you, but the spell is broken, it's only successful. As much as you believe it. The more you say to yourself, she puts something on me, then you give power to it. You empower it. The moment you say whatever they did, you put chicken bones in my backyard, you can put pure blood. They're not spaghetti, but they ain't got no power because you're not telling me that that's more powerful than the blood of Jesus. The moment I go there, I don't care what you did. You know what thing? Latinas and Mexicans? My brush. They know what he's talking about. He took my name. He did that. All kinds of forms of witchcraft. I didn't do it all. None of that stuff works when you got faith in God. It's the automatic report. You heard him say none of it works when you have faith in God. Did you miss that part? <laughs> Jesus went to Calvary to deliver us from every curse. And that's the thing that you got to walk in and say to yourself every day. You know, every day, every curse has been broken through the blood of Jesus. The only one that remains is the one that you hear. And the one you get power. I'm not going to let that part play just yet. For a certain reason. I'm going to let the rest of that play on YouTube. Try that video. Have another day. Yeah, Ashley, happy yeah. And it get deeper. It get deeper. Actually, I just don't want to show. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait and post the video. I'm gonna post the video. I'm gonna post it. I asked him, can I post it? He said, yes, I can. I'm like, okay. But I'm not talking about. This shit way deeper than what y'all think it is, bro. And I'm going to just say this right here real quick. As a black man, 
We need to be protected. You see how easy it is for the real to turn on a, a black, young, successful man? God-fearing man? You know? It's just crazy. It's just... I don't know. So what you did, which was just some grimy, disgusting, demonic, trifling shit, you blame that on everybody else. I'm not going to lie. So, like, y'all know, like, being a klepto, being a nympho, like, those are real words. Those are real things. Some people can't help but to steal. Like, it's just like a thing, you know? Some people can't help but to lie, you know? And some people are just so freaky. They just cannot help it, right? Need some help with it. That narcissistic word is really a thing. And I think people have been using it loosely. But, Lord, this is the example. He literally has zero accountability for everything that he has done. And his life is not going to get better while dealing with it. While continuing to blame everybody else for the shit that you are doing or have done. Crazy. That's crazy. I ain't never heard of no shit like this. Out of all the niggas that we have watched on YouTube, just like Chris is like a step down from him. Chris, Chris personality don't make it no better with him. And I just clearly got to bring up Chris because clearly Chris was just one of those internet problems. But no, this nigga's at the top of the list. You, what's the other dude? I don't even, I don't know his name, but this one? Top. Yes, Joel too. This shit's so deep. Joel it's a lot. It was way worse. Joel, I couldn't even watch them no more, y'all. Like, you right. Every time these niggas get into some shit, they do go straight to God. And, but with the, when, they, when they get into God, it just, bro, they be lying still. <laughs> like, they be lying. CJ, too. CJ's terrible when it comes to certain things. But he's still beating CJ. <laughs> he's beating CJ. Like, but damn. I just think that this is a man complex. I mean, I'm not a man. I don't, you know what I'm saying? But it just seems like. Joel seems like he in all with God now. He probably is. He probably is. But I don't know. You know what? We're not even going to get into Joel. I cannot do it. Um, But. Girl. That y'all don't know what's going on that I haven't been speaking on. I just get on social media every day. I just smile. You know what I'm saying? Show love. There's a lot of shit I don't talk about. Like, I don't even know how the fuck I even just even showed y'all that video. That couldn't have been me. That had to be God. For some reason, I don't know what's going on. I don't, like, I don't know what's going on in the spiritual realm. And, um, y'all think that's something? If y'all think that's something... Honey's house. Y'all, what is it? Uh, damn, I cannot think of the term. When I, when I be reacting to these videos, I got a hundred things going on through my mind. Some words I just cannot think about because it's clouded by what I'm trying to say next. Somebody asked me, did I have ADHD? I got something. Because what I be wanting to say, girl, I'm already thinking about what I want to say after that. It's kind of crazy. What is the damn word? Uh, Honey, what, what's the what's the word that we're in? What what is the, the damn word? <laughs> I can't think of the word. Um, y'all, what is the word? Girl, retrograde. Thank you. Now, 
Y'all remember when I was going through my past situation? I don't know if y'all remember. And I said that we broke up because of retrograde. Do y'all remember that? And a lot of people thought that I was lying. But do y'all remember that? Okay. It's not funny because retrograde is real. It's no way y'all think we on this earth and shit not going on. That's number one. Okay, so shit is going on. Especially when you are wrapped up in yourself and not the other person or, or what they think or whatever. You just, y'all can't find that peace. Y'all, retrograde is a real thing. He is getting, he getting that. He is in it. First of all, we're in retrograde in general, right? And I don't think it's over till like January or February. And I think that that's where he is. And I honestly think he's running away from Maddie right now. He's absolutely running away from Maddie. And I really like it. I feel like it's for that reason. October. Only if y'all would have heard the conversation I had the other night. He all in there. I feel like you're out talking to circus. What happened? <laughs> Only if y'all would have saw or heard the conversation when the other part left the other night. Shit was like. And it's so crazy, man, because, you know, I'm going to tell y'all something I learned the most. When you're going through the deep, when you're going through shit in life, and you really got God in your life, you know what I'm saying? You know, you're a God fearing person in, in real life. He go send answers to you. Sometimes you might think that it's the end. You might think that what you're going through, you could you, you go question it a lot. And a lot of y'all probably can relate to this right now. This is what I'm gonna get to. This is what I'm gonna start talking to a lot of y'all souls real quick. A lot of y'all probably going through a lot right now, or a lot of y'all probably been through a lot. Y'all can y'all probably relate, understand. And you probably feel like you understand why you're going through. You know what's going on. You know what's happening. Baze baze baze. But um, God will eventually show you why you're going through what you're going through. And, and, and life is a learning experience, bro. We all make decisions that we are not proud of. Sounds, you know? That's exactly how I feel. When they get to talking like this, girl, I'll be ready to run. I'll be ready to run. I hate when they say a lot of y'all probably don't know or a lot of y'all, um, I don't know, they kind of make it seem like they're the only ones that have gone through some shit. Y'all, in my 20s, my 20s was one of my darkest times. Them 20s was so dark. And until you realize what's going on, the role you played, I mean, all that. That's something you kind of got to go through, you know? I hate when they cuss and talk about God at the same time. It really, really annoys me. Um, because I just don't understand the whole when you really, really say by me. It's just so contradictive with all of them. I just, I cannot. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I hate it. I hate it. A lot of people, y'all may not know this, but uh, it's a defense mechanism for a lot of people. Use God, you know. And I just, I hate it. I hate it. It bothers me. Are we about to get off there? Yeah. You no, know, off emotions and um. He's in his twenties. You know, shit like that. And then when it comes, when you gotta learn from the baby, when you get in them thirties, the first thing you gotta do is realize who you've become. You can be blindsided in your twenties all you want to. By the time you get in them thirties, you better realize who the hell you you have become. Because if you don't, you're gonna be a fool at forty. And then. 50 is just going to be non-existent. I love my 30s. Okay? I don't care. Y'all call me old, whatever. I don't give a damn. I love my 30s. I don't have to have these feelings, girl. Not that you don't have feelings in your 30s, but not these. Those decisions, because I won't call them mistakes. Nothing in life is a mistake. In life, we make decisions. And sometimes the decisions that we make don't be the right decisions. 
and you will figure that out after the consequences come. But when the consequences hit, you got to learn from that. If you don't learn from that, you a fool. You know what I'm saying? So. When I drop this video again, I'm moving on. Like when 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 I drop this video on YouTube, and it's more to it's more to come. It's definitely more to come. Uh, it's going on my Patreon, cause um, y'all. It's absolutely a such thing as what he's going through, that feeling and um, the darkness and things like that in it. Especially when, you know, he's not taking accountability for, which he literally just said, he don't even realize you're still not taking accountability. That's where it starts. You have to see where you have wronged people. You know, you have to see where you have hurt the one that you love. Then you can, you know, start to reflect. Then clearly learn from your mistakes and not ever make that mistake or, or decision, like he said, because it's not a mistake. That decision again. But, girl. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below because I'm absolutely done with this. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.